Give me one. Water here. Hello, Saira. Good evening, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good, excellent. Hello, Maria. Hello, George. Hello, Yvette. Thank you for being punctual. Hello. <laughs> How was your day? You had a good day? Yes. Good. Do you guys do you guys work on Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays? Yes, yes, I I worked on Saturday. I work on Saturday. Okay, fine. Yvette, do you work on Saturdays? Yes. Okay. I have other job. Okay, fine. All right, good. Okay, let's begin. What's today's date? Today is July 22nd. July 22nd, that is correct. July 22nd, which day? Thursday. Look, it says Thursday. 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 So you make a combination when you say Thursday, you use your tongue and your teeth. So you say Thursday. 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 Right. Thursday. Right. Okay, so how many days are there in one week? Seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days. Yes. Right. Good night. Come here. How many days are there in a month? This month? 30. 30 days. So Usually 31. 30 or 31. Yes. Yep. Usually. Do you remember the name, the meaning of this word? Riddle. I don't know. Okay, let me give you, you an example. Us. You told huh? us. You uh -huh. told us that. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Riddle means adivinanza. Yes. Okay. Which month of the year has twenty-eight days? February. Are you sure? Bye bye. No <laughs> Oh, <laughs> twelve months. Twenty days. Twelve months. Twelve months. <laughs> Todos los meses traen veintiocho días. Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Ahora, si hubiese dicho qué mes del año tiene solamente veintiocho días, entonces febrero hubiera sido la respuesta. Right. So it's a riddle, it's an adivinanza. So you say, which month of the year has 28 days? Every month has 28 days. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so today is July 22nd, 2021. Okay, uh, what's the auxiliary we use when we're using, um, when we're speaking about future? We, 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 we are going to. Going to. What's the difference between will and going to? Will is that you're supposed that you are going to do it. And going to is that you, you, something are sure. Maybe okay. Someone else? Going to, will. you have a plan. Okay. Going to, you have a plan. And yeah. will? A possible, a possible. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. So remember, going to is when you talk about plans. Oh, this Saturday I'm going to paint my house. This Saturday I'm going to visit my family. This Saturday I'm going to go to the bank. They're plans. Now, if they are possibilities, you say, maybe I will visit my family. 
probably I will work. Perhaps I will paint my house. So if it's a possibility, you need to say will. Got it? Yes. Or, si usted toma la decisión en el momento de estar hablando sin planearlo, you say will too. So what do you guys want? Pizza Hut or Papa John's? Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, blah, blah, blah. So at the end I said, okay, we will call Papa John's. Pero no se planeó, sino que en el momento se tomó la decisión. Then you say will. Okay. Got it? Okay, so this is going to be the topic. What plans do you have for this weekend? So you and your friend will talk about the plans that you have for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And maybe today after 10 p.m. you have plans. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. So if you do, maybe you have to study. Maybe you have to finish a report, you know? Or maybe you will go dancing. Maybe, maybe. All right, so are the instructions clear? Yes. yes. What's going to be the topic? Preacher. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what plans do you have for the weekend? So let me prepare the 18 people. Once again, thank you for being present. I appreciate your uh, punctuality, your attendance. Uh, create and let me add a room. So remember, future tense, here we go. Remember, no Spanish. Corey, Corey.
what is your what is your favorite food? Mm -hmm. Pizza. Universidad de Salvador. I studied English about ten years ago, and it's so difficult to try to remember and try to to talk in in English. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they see they see the the videos they do some tests in that in that platform so it's a it's a group of, of things that we used to to another another maybe okay another uh, pet but uh, uh, my mom and it's my mom and me and we have and my four dogs we have four dogs so eh, we are a big family and also i have a sister but he live in another place and a professor you 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 teach in the university no yes okay. yes for the private university yeah i i the last time when i was young i worked in the university too and I know that that's you're that's still young, Lorraine. <laughs> then, but I was less. <laughs> I I work at uh, Francisco Gavilla University. Oh really? Oh, okay. I studied a master degree. Oh, what? In Francisco Gavilla. I work as a teacher there. Oh, you what? you were a teacher there in the Francisco Gavilla, Lorraine? Yes, I I. I what teach. subjects did you teach? Okay, Math. Well, so Math. Yeah. Oh, numbers. you like numbers? Yes, I like them. Okay, yes. good, good. Nice. Yes. But I think the they don't pay, don't pay enough. And you have oh. to, 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 to work too much. Okay. Yes. That's that's very common in um, universities in El Salvador. Um, the pay is not that well. Yeah. Yes, I know. In my case, imagine math, and you have 200 students, and yep. you have to work and to review every, it's too much time that, that we spend on, on that. Right, right, because imagine that the class is one hour and a half, imagine, one hour and a half, mm -hmm. but you spend time to prepare the class. Yes. You spend time to correct homework, evaluations, quizzes, exams. You spend time to put that information in a platform. I mean, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot, a lot of work. work. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why I prefer to work as a tutor. It's better for me. Good, good, very good. All right, let me visit another room and then we will go back to the main session. Thank you. All right. Teacher. Uh, hello, Michelle. Yes. Hello, Vladimir. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. How was your day today? Good, teacher. Nice. You, do you work, Michelle? No. You study? Yes, I study. Okay. Where do you study, Michelle? I study in University of, of Salvador, El Salvador. What career? Law. Law. Good, good. Vladimir, do you work? Yes, I work in the new bar. Where, where do you work? Uh, the name is, the company is uh, New Bauer. Uh, is the company, uh, uh, in charge the, of? The, in charge of the, of the duty in, oh. in El Salvador. Oh. The, the, uh, I, my job is uh, technical support. Okay. So you like computers? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I am an engineer in... System, system engineer. In system engineer. Yes, you like computers. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Yeah, you know, like nowadays, uh, Knowing technology uh, is not optional, it's mandatory. 
Okay. Funny. Fine. Yeah, you enjoy it. Very you enjoy it. Okay, yes. good. All right, let me visit. Okay, good. Let me visit the last room, then we go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. George? Okay. I will watch movies with my family. Hey, teacher, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi. Uh, this meeting is very what, the why, do, is here. why do I have five people in one group? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. You made this. Yeah, I, I did it, but I don't know why or, or how it happened. <laughs> because usually I have two or three maximum, but not four. <laughs> or imagine five. Or, or five, yes. Uh, any questions about how to express your ideas in the simple future? Mm, no. No. Well, Will for a possibility. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and yeah. going for affirmation. Yeah, it's for plans. Uh, teacher. Plans. Yep. Would. Would is hypothetical. Iría, okay. te diría, lo compraría. It's hypothetical. Okay. Yep. And it's also the past tense of will. The past tense of will is will. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, if uh, if Sylvia tells me uh, tomorrow I will eat ice cream, how do you say that part in Spanish? Mañana comería helado. Uh -huh. So when I said, what did Sylvia say? She said that tomorrow she would eat ice cream. Ella so, comer. Right, right. So it's like a like a possibility, okay. it's hypothetical. Mm. Yep. Any questions or comments? Adriana? Jenny? No. no? All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Once again, thank you for being present. What do you do Fridays at this time? Fridays. At this Fridays time. at this time. What do you do? We used to work at the platform. Watching okay. a movie. Watch Go a movie. Going to the bed. Platform. Uh -huh. Go to bed. <laughs> Oh, by the way, listen Working. to this. I have names of people. Let me check my cell phone. I have the information here. I have the names of some people that have that haven't done any work in the platform. Um, one, two, three, four people that have zero work in the platform. You need to hurry up. I finished. Okay, so uh, can I send you the initials to the to the chat? Yes. Oh, yes. usted sabe que no ha trabajado. Oh, no, I finished my. No, my no, in, in general, in general. In general, no, no. Okay. No. So, usted sabe, know. usted sabe si su nombre está en esas cuatro personas. So send me a WhatsApp and say, Francisco, is my name in those four people? And I will say yes or no. Got it? Okay. So, cada quien sabe cómo lleva ahí, pero tengo cuatro personas que me han alertado de que no han trabajado. Así que metan. All right. Any questions about how to express your ideas in the simple future tense? No. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I am um, um, talk with with Maria, and I ask her about when I say I will uh, is correct or to say I will going to know uh, no you say I will go what uh, for tomorrow I will go to work I will uh, go to the park I will go to work oh I will do no yeah you can say I will do uh, different things 
Teacher, uh, I have a question. Yes, Sylvia. But if I I am sure that the Saturday I will go out with my family uh, uh -huh. for, for dinner. Is is a plan, but I am sure. And what form is correct? Going, going to. to. Going to. Remember that when you are a hundred percent sure, when you have your agenda, you said, okay, plans for Sunday, go to church, go to the park, visit my family. So I'm going to go to church, I'm going to visit my family, and I'm going to have lunch with them because I am sure that those are my plans. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, sir. I have a question. Ask me, please. And uh, when I want to use in the going to, I can use in that for the present or, or only for the future. Okay. Uh, it depends. Uh, when you're using future, you said, I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to paint my house. I'm going to drive my car. That is uh, future. Now, if you're talking about the present continuous with a future meaning, you should say, I'm driving my car, I'm paying my bills, I'm washing my motorcycle. So you can perfectly use uh, present continuous for future events, for future ideas. I can, I can say, I'm going to travel. Sure. Or you can say, I'm traveling. It's equal. It's the same. Oh, it's the same. Yeah. So you can say, I'm going to pay my bills or I'm paying my bills. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Good. Yes. Ask me, please. Well, if, if, suppose, I suppose, no, just suppose that it's more, it's morning. So can I say I'm going to, to eat dinner? Sure. Sure. Future is future. It can be in five minutes. It can be in five hours, in five days, in five weeks. Future is future. Okay. So you said, uh, Francisco, what plans do you have for, uh, for today? Well, in 30 minutes, I'm sleeping. Or in 30 minutes, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Okay. So future is anything that is not here yet. The future is future. Future is future, exactly. The future is now. The future is now, exactly. Yeah. So remember, forget the past, leave the future, leave the present, and the future is now. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Me. Yes, sir. Me. Too. Yes, George. Uh, with these sentences, uh, we 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 need to talk about contraction. I'll or I will. Good question. Do you remember class? Do you remember what I mentioned about uh, 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 contractions? Yes. What did I say about contractions? Americans talk just. Only with contraction, exactly. so they they don't understand. Every time gringo you use right, normal. right. Use contraction. So this is the story. If you read interchange, top notch, or the books you used before, um, many times they go with separate words. They use contractions, but it's not normal. The problem is that Americans many times they do use contractions and many times they also break grammar so um, that's why you gotta keep it balanced and uh, read a book read the rules uh, but also practice with real things so my answer to Jorge is use contractions use contractions yep so what plans do you have for tomorrow I'll pay my bills. I'll go to work. I'll visit my family. 
Do yes. you have a do you have a tick yes. for for us? Uh, okay. Can, can you move closer to the microphone? You sound choppy. George, can you move closer to the microphone? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What was your question? Okay. Uh, do you have a tick for us uh, uh, to catch uh, these sentences when we talking with a gringo? Because they uh, talk about uh, uh, fast. fast. Right. And when, when, she, when they uh, talk uh, about uh, every thing, yes, sir. they don't have to say, I will. To, because uh, they use a uh, contraction. Exactly. Or sure, sure. Okay, can you see the chat, the Zoom chat? No. Yes. It says authentic <laughs> versus instructional. Okay. Do you guys remember the meaning of authentic? What is authentic? Original. Original. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is instructional? Okay. Um, this is top notch. The book. This is uh, interchange. The book. That book is instructional. Why? Because it was created to instruct students. Got it? And they explain grammar, they explain vocabulary, blah, blah, blah. What is authentic? Music, television, movie trailers, magazines. So for you to improve uh, your listening comprehension, I recommend that you practice a lot of listening. But what kind of listening? Listening from a book? No. Listening from a movie, listening from music, listening from a conference where people use English in a very natural way. So that's the tip that I can uh, share with you and always make a combination. So you can watch instructional videos where someone is explaining the present perfect, the simple past, the future continuous. But at the same time, you need to expose yourself to the language in a natural way. The New York Times, the San Francisco Chronicle, National Geographic, CNN in English. So make a combination. Thanks. Yep. And if you have someone and this person speaks the language, practice the language. Forget your Spanish. You don't need Spanish, more Spanish in your life. Do you? No, huh? Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Yes, I have a question about yes, vocabulary. Yep. Uh, how do you say formula in fiestas patronales? Okay, formula is formula. Ah, okay. It's the same. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. In fiestas patronales, you can say local, local festivities. Local, local festivities. Okay. Yeah, local festivities. Local festivities. Yes. Festivities. Teacher, yes. how do you say uh, pestaña, but pestaña del buscador? Oh, link. Link. Ah. link, you open this link. You can also say slide. Ah. It, it depends which one you want to use. Okay. Uh, how about Tau? Excuse me? How about Tau? Uh, oh. What do you mean? Or a tab. T. Tab. Yeah, T -A -A -P. I yeah, tab is also uh, used. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Anything else? You know, like everybody here, everybody okay. without exception has to be familiarized with. Um, with vocabulary related with uh, technology. Yes. Everybody, 
everybody. Right? Questions. How do you say parlantes in English? Ah. Speaker. Speakers. 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 <laughs> Speakers. Right. Microfono. Microphone. 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 Yes. Bandeja. 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 So it's the same. Uh, it's the same word that you use in a restaurant. Inbox. Tray. Tray. What? Tray. It's right there in the truck. Tray. Tray. Yeah. Tray. Okay. How do you say mensajes no deseados? Spam. Spam, Spam or? Spam. How do you say comida chatarra? Fast food. Uh, fast, food. Yeah. fast food. And what's the other one? Junk food. Junk food. So, junk. So, alguien le dice, mire, no recibí su correo. Usted le dice, check your junk tray. Check junk your tray. junk tray. Yeah, junk tray. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of this? What's what does CC mean? Copy. Spanish con copia. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but what is the meaning of the double C? Copy content. No. Uh -uh. It's carbon copy. Carbon copy. Carbon. Uh, carbon copy. And what what mean? Copy. So, for example, if I said, uh, "I'm gonna send an email to Flor, and I will CC everybody else," that means that everybody else will get a copy. Got it? That's not a copy. Yeah, it's just a copy of the email. Mm. Uh huh. What what is the meaning of BC? BC. Background copy. Blind copy. Blind. blind copy. copy. What's the meaning of blind copy? Can can see the the, the distributor don't see the. Okay. The others. Person. The others. Exactly. The others. So hide. imagine I'm going to send an email to the four people that haven't worked in the platform. So, but when I send the email, I apply BC. So nobody knows who else is receiving the, the email. Got it? Yes. Got it. And there are many others. Questions. Questions, questions. Teacher, I have a question, but it's not for. Yeah, ask me. What does mean WT? W? T. T as in tango? Like, like toilet. Like? Toilet. WT. I know. Uh, I I know about W W T. Yeah, yeah W T. I know it, it. It can mean a bad expression. Like what the, you know. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like like uh, the toilet. Okay. It's give not a toilet. Okay, W, okay, give me a second. WT. Como el nombre que se le da en inglés al baño. Oh, toilet. WC. WC. She referred to the place, exactly. The, the uh, restroom or the bathroom? I don't... Mm, Water clothes. Uh -huh. It's more common when it's public, I think. Okay, well, in your house, in your house, you have a bathroom, bathroom. Mm -hmm. right? If you go yeah. to Metrocentro, you use a restroom. Restroom. 
And the difference is the bathroom, you can take a shower there, whatever. But in no. a restroom, you you cannot. I don't know if that's your question, Silvia. No, las siglas. Yo escucho que dicen W, w C. W C. It's meaning, it's meaning water clothes. Water. Watch Watch room. Google said like means water clothes. Washroom is like a, a, a lavado de manos. So. Right. Instead of to say a bathroom in the United States, they say um, washroom. What? Washroom. Right. Right. You know where is the washroom? Yeah. Right. That is, that's the question, doctor. Right. Is that your question, Sylvia? No. <laughs> okay, so what is your question exactly? <laughs> Saying in Spanish. Sí, en español. Vaya. Cuando yo veo las películas o en las series, y se voy a usar el WC, y ellos van al baño, y entiendo que usan el sanitario. Okay. Sí, el sanitario yeah. Google, el Google says WC meaning, means water clothes. Water clothes. Okay, well, so it's, I, it's I the know. Of, of cuarto de baño. <laughs> okay, bathroom, you can say bathroom or you can say restroom. However, remember that there are different countries where English is the official language. You have Australia, United States, Canada, Belize, Jamaica. And so I'm not sure what, what the translation is, uh, uh, Sylvia. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. So uh, at the end of unit two of the platform, um, we have direct and indirect questions. Do you remember that topic? Yes. Okay. How do you say que hora es? What time is it? What time is it? How do you say sabe usted que hora es? Do you know how uh, what time is it? Do you know what time it is? Listen to this. When the direct question has is and you transfer that to the indirect question, is goes at the end. Yeah. So let, let me let me show you something. Okay. What flavor is this drink? Can, can you see the my 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 document? Yes. yes. Okay. What flavor is this drink? That's a direct question. If you want to transfer that question to indirect, you said, "Can you tell me what flavor this drink is?" Uh huh. So when the original question or the direct question has is. That particular word is goes at the end. Yes. So, do you know what time it is? How do you say, Donde está Maria? Where is Maria? Where is Maria? Podría usted decirme, Donde está Maria? How do you say that one in English? Could you tell me where Maria is? Excellent. Excellent. So, so, listen to this direct questions, we use them all the time. We use them all the time. If you want to sound more formal, more educated, more polite, then people recommend to use uh, indirect questions. But they're not mandatory. They're not mandatory. So imagine you're waiting for La 79 and you want to ask someone for the time. Usted no le dice, ¿qué hora es? Usted le dice, disculpe, ¿me puede dar la hora, por favor? That's an indirect question because you want to show respect. Got it? Ahora, hay gente que le habla como ellos quieren, pero the, the best form should be indirect questions. So, con las preguntas indirectas, por llamarles así, hay una introducción antes de hacer la pregunta directa. That's, that's the only difference. <laughs> I have a question. In Ask me, the, please. In the United States, they use indirect questions. Yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. And also in the United States, people break grammar all the time. 
So there are many people that they speak professionally, but there are many people that they break grammar. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, ¿Dónde está San Alejo? How do you say that in English? ¿Dónde está San Alejo? Where, where, where is San Alejo? Okay. If you're asking your brother, your sister, you will say, hey, where is San Alejo? Oh, San Alejo is in La Unión. But if, them, if you're asking your supervisor, how would you ask that question? Can you tell me, Excuse me. Tell me where San Alejo is? Uh -huh. Excuse me, do you know where San Alejo is? Could you tell me? Can you tell me? So when you use indirect questions, you sound more polite. You showing more education. Questions or comments? No? no. Have, have you guys finished unit two of the platform? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice. Except the four people that I have in the black. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> Can you tell? Yes. yes, sir. Someone said teacher. No? All right. Uh, did we talk about cell phones before? No. No? Let, let, let me show you something. And please correct me if this is a repetition. Can you see those questions? Yes. Yes. Have we used them before? No. 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 In my case, no. No, in my case, no. Okay. All right. So this is going to be our last activity for the session. Let's see this here. See it, copy, and eight to nine. No, you guys are nine to ten. Right here. So I'm going to send you a copy of the questions to the WhatsApp chat. And, or if you prefer, you can, um, you can use the, the ones that I'm showing uh, in my screen. What did I do with them? Did I lose them? Right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me yeah. recreate. Now, this is the time for you to speak and answer these questions any way you want. When I give you a free topic, I'm trying for you to improve your fluency. So now, if you can apply your accuracy, that's, that's even better. So, see this here, recreate, recreate. Let me put this person here and let's practice. Let's go. Hello, Silvia. Teacher, no he entrado en ningún grupo. Okay, give me a second. La voy a cambiar al room three. And okay. she will go to room four. Let's go. Okay.
people, people. Any questions or comments about today's session? No. No? So no. I, I wrote the initials of the four people in the chat. Did you see them? Here are the four initials. So if your initials are not there, don't worry. If your initials are there, you need to start working in the platform. Questions or comments? Nothing. Uh, where are the initials in the WhatsApp in the, group? In the, in the Zoom chat. Okay, okay sure. There isn't. Okay, no. good. All right. There so aren't. thank you very much for your time. I don't see teacher. It's right there. Thank you, teacher. Let me see it. Let me see. It. Oh, Just can be see by the person. Please. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. no. If your initials are not there, go to sleep and sleep like a baby. If your initials are there, drink strong coffee and start working. So many people have a name with A. <laughs> you know, those are just the initials. I don't think there is, there are two people with the same initials. So, so like, imagine, F -F -A -M -B. that's not Francisco there. So, <laughs> all right. So have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.